at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Technicians at Launchpad 39A are working to repair small cracks on the tops of two metal support beams, called stringers, on Space Shuttle Discovery's external fuel tank. Teams have removed 13 inches of metal from the tops of the two stringers and installed new sections of metal called a doubler in the cracked metal's place as part of the repair method. It's called a doubler because it's twice as thick as the original stringer metal. Video B-roll includes lipstick camera views from inside an environmental enclosure where the repair work is taking place on the outside of the external tank. The enclosure will provide the proper temperature and humidity when foam insulation is reapplied to the tops of the stringers following the repairs. The stringer cracks developed as the external tank was being filled for Discovery's launch attempt on November 5th for its STS-133 mission to the International Space Station. That launch attempt was scrubbed because of a hydrogen gas leak, which other technicians have repaired.